Hello friends, uh, in this video tutorial we will be talking about the different level of mutation in the DNA level. Now any sim simple change in the DNA sequence can lead up to the effect onto the uh, huge uh, major scale because any change in the DNA will change uh, the transcription uh, that means the change will, will, be, will change the mRNA which is be produced from the DNA and then the protein uh, expression will be changed due to the change in the DNA. So let me take this floating tool and a pane first yeah okay fine now uh, so we, we know that we are having this DNA so if we remember the central dogma of biology then we are having this single double stranded DNA from the DNA what we will produce we produce RNA and RNA is denoting here with this uh, blue color so this is the mRNA so again from mRNA we will what we will produce we will produce a protein then finally what you will produce, you will produce the proteins, right? So any change in this DNA level will reflect in the RNA level and that's how the protein can be modified. Now any change suppose here in this place will modify the RNA in such a way that the final the protein what you make, uh, the actual wild type protein will look like this, will look like this and any modification to this protein will lead up to malfunctioning protein structure. Anyways, now uh, so what are the different types of DNA uh, mutations? Now uh, if we think about the single base mutation, that means a mutation at a particular base pair, uh, base pair then th that can be two different types. Uh, most of uh, all they are called the point mutation because the, the mutation what we are talking about is actually happening at a point or a base sequence here. So among this point mutation we can divide this in three different parts. One is the substitution that means uh, substitution that means the changing or interconversion of the region of the DNA. Second one is the insertion that means the new uh, addition or the addition of new base uh, onto this mutation site and the deletion means the removal of the one base. Okay, so if we are re if we remove one base, uh, that will result to the deletion mutation. If we add a new base, it will lead to the insertion mutation. And if we change one base with another different types of base, that will lead, lead to the trans substitution. Okay, now among the substitution, we can have different types of mutation. One is called the silent mutation, then missense mutation, nonsense mutation, as well as the neutral mutation. Now we'll start from the neutral mutation, as the name suggests. This mutation suggests us that the mutation will result uh, in the effect uh, activity of neutrality. That means the mutation uh, will not damage the DNA and will not damage the protein expression. But all the different types of mutation can have different uh, dangerous effect on the protein expression. So let's move on. Now here is a picture which can suggest us all the different types of uh, point mutation. Now the first mutation we are going to talk about is a uh, normal situation. Now what do we uh, mean by this normal situation we can find this uh, picture. Now we are having this template DNA uh, or, or template DNA means the DNA onto which uh, the new nucleotide sequence will be added to produce the mRNA. And from the mRNA, amino acid can be added uh, to this mRNA utilizing tRNA and produce we can produce protein. So this is the protein chain, this is the mRNA and this is the template strand. So don't confuse yourself with this double strand uh, for a DNA. So th we are not talking about the DNA molecule here. The blue color strands here denoting the template DNA strands. We are only focusing on one strand which is responsible for the production of mRNA. Now, on the other uh, side we are having the red strand these are the mRNAs so in this picture in the first case which are talking about the normal type of uh, mutation we can see there is no change in the in, in any region of the base pair of uh, of this template DNA so no change in the mRNA region so the protein which was previously produced like phenylalanine, tyrosine alanine and arginine will remain phenylalanine, tyrosine ar alanine uh, and arginine but we can see here uh, in this case, the first type of mutation that uh, in the previous case that we are having AAA and UUU sequence, but instead of U, in the third nucleotide sequence, so if we uh, denote this with third, this is the third nucleotide sequence. In this third nucleotide sequence, we can easily see a change. Instead of A and U pairing, we are having G and C pairing. So we have changed the sequence of the DNA, but it is not reflect reflecting on the protein expression because though we, are, we have changed uh, the nucleotide sequence, but still the expression of the type of protein remains the same, which was phenylalanine. Okay, so f this type of mutations are called the silent mutation. So name is totally justified, right? Because silent means there will be no effect uh, visible uh, on the phenotypic expression. 
because the protein which has previously coded now again the same protein is coded though the nucleotide sequence is changed okay now the second type of mutation we what we are going to see is at this point at this side so you can find that uh, for example let it, let me count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 1 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is the region where we are having g and c instead of g and c we are having c and g so we are having a shuffling we are having a mutation here at this eighth nucleotide pair or eight nucleotide sequence now the mutation on this eight nucleotide sequence will eventually change the expression of the protein now previously it expresses alanine now it is expressing glycine now we know that uh, alanine is a different type of amino acid than glycine in chemical uh, properties they are varying so this kind of mutation can lead up to the malfunctioning of that protein so this is called the missense type of mutation okay now the third type of mutation we are going to talk about uh, is called the nonsense one now again in this case one two three four five six so in the sixth uh, nucleotide sequence as we are looking at here so this is the sixth nucleotide sequence now it was previously a and u now it is t and a now uh, in the mrna region it was u previously now it was now it is a so changing from u to A can lead the production of only one amino acid sequence. Now we, we know that that uh, uh, if we look at uh, the codons. Now what is what are the codons? If you don't know what are codons, then please go back and check for video about codon in YouTube. You can find it uh, in my channel too. Now codon means the three nucleotide sequences which code for uh, a, a particular amino acid. Now there are several different codons uh, uh, for different amino acid sequences. So there are uh, suppose we, ca we can have uh, two or three different types of codons which are coding for only one type of amino acid sequences. So in this case we are having suppose different types of codons like AAA uh, uh, and, and in, in mRNA UUU is coding for phenylalanine and we can see UAU is coding for tyrosine, GCA is coding for alanine, CGU is coding for arginine and so on. So if we change the sequence of the codon, uh, if we change the sequence at this terminal level, this will not uh, change uh, uh, the expression of the protein um, uh, uh, most of the time. For example, you can see here, uh, we are having UUU and we are changing this last U with C, the effect is not that much dangerous dangerous because the third region can be varied uh, this is a, 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 a fair observation okay but if we change it at it middle levels like uh, as we can see here so again uh, we are changing but in, in in this case too we are changing this at this terminal level then then uh, it, it finally stop the production of the protein okay it will only produce uh, only translate only one amino acid right why it is actually happening there are few codons for example we, which starts the DNA trans uh, which starts the translation of a protein that codon is called AUG the, in the similar way there are different codons which can terminate the synthesis of protein because we need these signals as codons to synthesize to start synthesizing a, a polypeptide chain and to end synthesize all this polypeptide chain now this AUG is acting as a start codon and also UAA, UGA and UAG UAA, UGA and UAG UAA, UAA, UAG, and UAU. Anyways, so these are the three codons which are which we call the stop codons. Now, why we call the stop codons? Because if if uh, during the translation of the mRNA, when our uh, so remember the translation process, mRNA is there, ribosome is sitting on it, and it is synthesizing these proteins. Now, when it is synthesizing the protein, it, it starts uh, by looking at the start sequence or AUG. Now, it will move on, and when it reaches and found uh, this uh, any of these termination sequences or termination codons, it will fall off uh, from this mRNA and it will stop synthesizing the polypeptide chain. Now in this case it previously it was ATT so the first reading frame is AUU which is coding for phenylalanine no problem for that. Second uh, was ATT. Now there is a modification at this third uh, base of this DNA as a result there is a modification of the third nucleotide sequence of the mRNA so it is changing its uh, conformation from UUA to UAA. Now UAA uh, we know that is a type of 
of a stop codon so as it uh, now incorporates ua it suggests the blockage of the translation process so it can only synthesize one amino acid sequences and right after sequ uh, synthesizing one amino acid sequences it immediately stop the synthesis of rest of the other type of amino acids and and uh, it will end up with a short stage of protein amino acid sequence only this kind of mutation is called a nonsense mutation because this mutation will eventually ends the synthesis of a particular protein so we often end up with a short protein sequence which is malfunctional or less functional or uh, sometimes non-functional now the fourth type of mutation we are going to see this is not a type of point uh, this is also a point mutation but the effect can be seen in devastated ways as you can see here now any kind of insertion or deletion can lead up to the reading frames of uh, this uh, DNA, right? So what do we mean by reading frames? Now if we look at carefully at this all, all different levels, we can find it here. So let me change the color. Yeah. Okay. So suppose this is a region U U U. This is a one reading frame. Then uh, A U A. Then U G C. Then A C G. These are all the reading frames. Now if we look at uh, this normal case, so A. ATA, CGT, TG, TCA, and uh, correspondingly the mRNA is UUU, UAU, GCA, and CGU. So these are the reading frames, and, uh, and reading frames are made with three different nucleotide sequences because these three things, uh, three nucleotide sequences, are acting as codons. Now, if we insert a nucleotide or delete a nucleotide from anywhere or from this place, for example, in this case, if we insert a nucleotide sequence in between this three, third, and fourth nucleotide, so suppose there is an insertion here. So what will eventually it, it will do? The first uh, reading frame remains the same. So this is uh, it remains that uh, this region. But uh, then the second reading frame will start from here now. So it will end up here instead of going to this U and this U and next next G and C will be another reading frame. Then this A and C G will be another reading frame and one U will left in this case, right? So what we have a slight shift of the reading frames towards the uh, right side one nucleotide shift so again uh, as you can see in this picture so just incorporation of this T nucleotide will uh, change the another nucleotide sequence on the mRNA which is A and it will ch change the course of reading frames which was previously previously was AAA then ATA instead of that it, wa it, it was now UUU then AUA then UGC then ACG uh, it is happening like that okay so as a result what we end up with we end up with slightly modification not slight modification actually all uh, the further steps are sliding towards the right side as a result all the codons uh, are changing because one insertion or deletion can lead up to this dangerous effect and as a result what we can see the first nuclear uh, first protein expression is the same but all the rest of the others are changing as a result uh, uh, we will end up with the production of totally undesired type of protein so this is a very very dangerous effect if we add one nucleotide if we delete one nucleotide that can uh, produce this dangerous effect because it's all uh, just like a uh, falling off cycle so if a bicycles are just standing on there you just kick on one uh, bicycle and, and rest of the bicycles will fall one after another so that's how the effect is dangerous and the effect is magnified right because if we add one it will change all the reading frames in the downstream region of the DNA sequence anyways now is the fifth type of uh, mutation again uh, this is another frame shift mutation but here it, it is shown as a deletion now in the previous case we have seen the addition now again if we delete this in the similar way it will change all the rest of the nucleotide sequences or rest of the protein sequence formation at, at this downstream level so again uh, what we end up with is uh, with, with the changing of different type of amino acid sequences again this will lead to the production of malfunctioning protein or the undesired protein functioning okay so these are the different type of mu point mutations and i hope this will help you thank you